Well, within the last three weeks, the Washington State Cougars made the NCAA tournament for the first time in 16 years, had their head coach depart for Stanford, and saw most of their roster hit the transfer portal. But today, some stability, as David Riley was formally introduced as the team's next head basketball coach. Alex Crescenti is live in Pullman for us tonight. And Alex, while the search is finally over, this journey has been a wild ride for Riley. Yeah, Kirsten, like you said, a wild few weeks for the Washington State Cougars and their fans finally culminates with the introduction of David Riley as the 20th head coach in program history. Now, there's a lot of work to do in rebuilding this team, but Riley's familiarity with the region should help him transition pretty easily. Of course, he played his college ball over at Whitworth from 2007 to 2011, and then immediately began his coaching career just up the road at Eastern Washington, where he spent 13 seasons, first as an assistant, and and then was promoted to head coach in 2021. While he only has a little experience with the Washington State community, he told us he was surprised by the number of people who've already reached out and congratulated him and showed their support as he begins this new journey. It's just been really cool to see kind of the people I love uh, talk to me about it and just, just be there for me. But it's been it's been a it's been a whirlwind, and, and my biggest priority, like I said earlier, is just the players. Like I, I, I think making sure I talk to these guys who are here at Washington State, making sure I really show the appreciation and love for my players that, that were at, at Eastern Washington and, and the administration there, that's kind of been my big, my big thing, and it's, it's hard to balance that out with all the other things that are going on. Riley talked a lot this afternoon about the prioritization of those players, and he's got his work cut out for him. As of right now, there is just one scholarship player left on the team that had meaningful minutes this season, and that is freshman guard Isaiah Watts. Of course, he did tell us that he's going to be speaking with some of the players in the coming days and weeks, and we'll see if any of those guys that hit the portal return next season, and vice versa, if any of his Eastern Washington players hit the portal and don the crimson and gray. Of course, that'll all be answered in the coming months here as the coaching staff and the roster take shape. For now, reporting live in Pullman, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Thank you, Alex.